coming up in Series 4 of Beyond the Divide. In the mid-1800s, Australia was struck with gold fever and prospectors came from across the country and overseas to cash in on their dream of striking it rich and finding a gold nugget. The keen ones headed away from the cities, towns and crowded gold fields and set out into the bush to try and make their fortune panning for gold in remote rivers and hand digging mine shafts into the sides of mountains. For most of these prospectors though, their dreams were shattered. It was incredibly tough and dangerous work. The lucky few got rich. Some scraped out a living, but most struggled to survive. And sadly, many perished along the way. Nevertheless, the gold rush is a fascinating time in Australian history. But an unwanted legacy of that era is the feral goat. In regions like this, here in the central tablelands of New South Wales, the rugged terrain meant prospectors had to be self-sufficient. So often they brought with them goats as a source of fresh milk and meat. Now goats don't need much to survive and they found the Aussie bush pretty tasty. And as the decades have passed, they've multiplied and spread to become a serious pest right across the country. was covering ground fast and it was tough work keeping up with them undetected on the bone dry ground. As they fed over a spur I hoped for a clear shot but they stayed in the cover and slipped away. down towards the sound of the bleeding and walk straight into the action. Good stuff, nice clean kill. That was a target of opportunity, those ones coming back down the hill we stumbled right on top of three of them bedded there. That one stood up and I got it right through the point of shoulder. That's going to be a tasty little goat. This one's a perfect meat animal. The beautiful tender meat from goats is known as chevron and it's widely consumed around the world. Like me, many consider it a delicacy, tasting equally as good and often better than lamb but without the fat content. The legs are perfect for roasting and my favourite is grilling them on a charcoal barbecue with garlic and rosemary. After removing the legs, I prepared the loins for cutlets and in a short time had dressed out a tasty haul of legs, rumps, tenderloins and more. And we were off to continue the search for a prize billy. In 2016, open your eyes to the real story of hunting when the adventure returns with Series 4 of Beyond the Divide. And this year, anyone, anywhere, anytime can catch the action. Coming up this series, it's a Southern Hemisphere special with everything from varmints and ferals to backpack samba and roaring red stags on the high peaks of the North Island. It all starts from June 2nd, simulcast on free to air channel 44, Foxtel Aurora 183, plus live stream catch up and on demand via the new free C31 app. Beyond the Divide, proudly presented by Beretta Australia. <laughs>